Hi everyone, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not doing a pen review, I'm not looking at ink or anything like that. I wanted to have a quick chat, uh, and this is sort of to help establish my connection to the fountain pen world. I came back to fountain pens a couple of years ago after spending a couple of years away from them. I used them as a teenager, I used them sort of in my university years, and then I put them away for whatever reason. And then a couple of years ago, I delved back in and I found that I loved fountain pens and ink and all, this, all of these associated elements so much more than I used to. And this knowledge that I acquired from using so many pens and collecting so many pens, I wanted to help other people getting into the hobby or looking at pens by providing them with another opinion on pens. And this is why I review. If everyone reviewed pens the same way, if everyone had the same feelings about every pen, then we wouldn't need reviews. I bring something unique to the table, just like every other reviewer does. We've all got our own personal taste. We all write in an individual way. I'm a lefty, you might be a, a right-handed writer. It doesn't matter. We all bring something to the table. And that is why I decided to review. I thought, well, I can say something here. I love these pens or I don't love these pens and I can be another voice for those people who want to know more about the pen or about the pen world or about ink, notebooks, all of those sorts of things. My opinions might be different to yours. They may be different to SBRE Brown or uh, to what Matt Armstrong used to say. And that's great. That's exactly why we should be all doing this. So I wanted to explain a little bit about what pens are to me. Pens to me are tools. The ink is part of that tool. The paper is part of that process. When we write, what is the point of writing with something that doesn't write? What is the point of not inking something because you are too scared it will lose value? What is the point of not taking a pen out of the house and taking it with you on your everyday life because you're too scheduled, you, you'll lose it. A couple of years ago, I left some pens on a plane and I was upset. Sure, I really loved those pens. They wouldn't have been with me if I didn't love them, but they were replaceable. They weren't a limited edition, high-end, over $2,000 pen. They were a sub $100 pen and I like the way they write. I was sad to lose them, but I went and bought more. I was able to go onto a website and buy another one. Pens for me need to be affordable and they need to be available. They need to be replaceable, but f mostly they need to do the job they're designed to do. That's one of the reasons why I love the Twisby 580. This is a reliable pen. This is a pen that writes every time. It has a great ink capacity. It's affordable. There are websites everywhere in every country, well not every country perhaps, but in most sort of you know countries that sell fountain pens, you can get this pen. So people say to me that my tastes on pens are practical and that is the biggest compliment I can be given because that's what they are. I'm not going to review a pen that, or I'm not going to buy a pen that is so expensive that I'm going to be too scared to use it. There are a couple of high-end pens I would love to have in my collection. I would love a Visconti Homo Sapiens and I'm you know in the process of thinking about getting one of those but that is after a long time of deliberating on whether that is the right pen for me using a few of them holding it having some time with one and I think it's a fabulous pen. But what am I going to get from that writing experience that I'm not going to get from a Twisby 580 or a Pilot Custom 823, which is one of the higher end pens that I use on a daily basis. Now, these are still relatively affordable pens. When I say affordable, yes, they're not your 60 cent big ballpoint, nor are they your $5 Platinum Preppy Fountain Pen. And all these pens have their place. But for me, I want something that gives me personality on the page. So that can be the combination of pen and ink. It can be the combination of the nib. Um, 
I personally really like medium point nibs or broad point nibs. I don't get the same feeling as being a left-handed writer. I don't get the same feeling using a stub nib, and that's fine. I watch people on YouTube and on Instagram who have the most fabulous handwriting, and stub nibs make their writing look glorious. To me, it just doesn't do that with my style of writing. So why would I use them? Now, I would love to review pens that are limited edition Mont Blanc and you know Visconti pens and all of this and looking back at vintage pens, but it doesn't fit what my philosophy on pens is. If a pen is so expensive that it stays in a box or if you lose it, you can't get it again, then that is a collector's item. That is something you collect. It's not something you use. And I am a user. I use pens every day. I use it at work. I use it for fun. I use it with my daughter. Uh, she has a couple of fountain pens and we write together uh, and that's something we share. Now, she's never going to use a $2,000 fountain pen. She uses a Jinhao Shark or um, a pen I bought from the Japanese store Daiso. She loves that and I love writing with her. And so that is for us something that we share just as writing letters uh, to pen pals is something you could do or journaling. These are ways I use my pens and using them is what makes them mean something to me, not the price tag. So I review because I want you to have information. I want you to get my perspective, another perspective, whether you agree or not. So thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for encouraging me to keep going with these videos. I have a lot coming up uh, and some pretty exciting uh, and interesting videos that I have in the pipeline. So stay tuned. Please no, uh, subscribe and hit the notifications button. Leave me comments. If you've got questions, please leave them on my videos. I'm going to be starting to do some Q&A videos, so they'll start to pop up uh, in the next little while. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.